Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a collective read for Manic Monday. So it's all signs. Whomever resonates with it, claim it. And if you don't, please leave it for somebody else. The energy is sick thick on YouTube. Uh, here's little Delilah. She's our little spirit guide and mascot on this channel. Guys, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. So thank you for joining us. And if nobody's told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. All right, let's hit this. <clears throat> Clearing ground. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Sended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective for Manic Monday. Guys, by the way, thank you so much ahead of time for hitting that like and subscribe. Show me the energy. We really, really appreciate it. Show me Manic Monday. Manic Monday. Knight of Cups. So somebody's making somebody an offer here, okay? Somebody's coming in. Maybe going to ask somebody out on a date or... Uh, but they like to go for a cup of coffee, glass of wine, maybe some shrimp cocktails. There's a hermit here, Virgo Capricorn. So, oh, 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 oh. this is gonna get. Listen, this hermit is somebody that spends a lot of time alone. Okay, and they uh, Virgo energy, like I said, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But uh, they've done a lot of inner work. They have um, faced their demons. They've done soul searching, self reflection. But they're so used to staying alone that this is freaking somebody out. Somebody's gonna freak out here. Look at her. She's like, ah, go away. Oh, my God. Some of you like to wear red nail polish. Or you have red toenail polish on right now. What else is going on over here? Show me. What else is going on over here? Please and thank you. Okay, here we go. So now, yeah, somebody's, somebody's trying to be resourceful and flexible over here and get themselves on solid ground. Also, with the eight of wands, something's going to move rapidly forward. Now, whatever that is, it could be correspondence between people. It could be text flying back and forth, like with this King of Cups. I mean, this Knight of Cups and this Hermit. But um, whatever it is, it's rapid forward movement. So that could be anything in your life. Sick thick energy on YouTube. Some of you definitely could be getting correspondence. Look at that crow bringing in the letter. Oh, it could be about some... Listen, it's a Ten of Pentacles. It has some... Yeah, somebody's stressed out. Somebody's stressing out over this. This information... It's going to be something that's going to bring somebody a lot of money here. Ten of Pentacles, financial wealth and abundance. Also, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is the whole package. It's the happy life. It's the Disney fairy tale. But somebody's stressed out over here. They got little boogeymen on their shoulders. They're up all night. They're biting their nails. They're not sleeping. They look like a freaking raccoon. What's going on here? All right, here comes the page of ones. So here comes some kind of message or some kind of information. Now, it could be on the heels of a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Somebody who's younger, maybe, or somebody who's a little immature. Maybe that's what somebody's worried about, that somebody's going to be immature. Um, page of Wands. But that is another message coming in. So you got a message. You definitely got a message. This is the message coming in. There's the offer. There's somebody freaking out. <laughs> Some of you live in the city. Some of you look out the window and you can see the smoke, the steam coming out of those. Uh, yeah. I'm also seeing those water barrels on the top of the buildings. Let me see. What else is going on? Yeah, heavy steam pipes here going on. Could be a crescent moon out. Show me. Somebody, some of you like the color gold. Like gold is one of your favorite colors. Some of you have a little beige dog. Skinny. Show me. Okay, here we go. All right. Four of cups. Somebody's, that, somebody's apathetic. Somebody's maybe contemplating this. Somebody doesn't feel very connected. It's a four of cups. It's, you know, contemplation, apathy, maybe boredom, indifferent. Somebody could, excuse me, be indifferent. There's an empress here. Oh, it could be an empress that's indifferent. Some kind of, or maybe because it's a knight and a page. I mean, it could be. But Taurus energy. This is somebody who knows their worth and value. This is somebody who everything they touch turns to gold. I mean, you know, all four queens couldn't be a pimple on this one's ass. Seriously. She's like the top of the game. She has dignity, pride, self-respect. She knows her worth, marriage material. She's not going to settle for shenanigans, booty calls, or anything like this, okay? I'm telling you right now. It's not going to happen. It's an empress. 
You better at least be a king. An empress isn't going to fool around with pages and wands. I'll tell you that right now. Here we go. So maybe that's, you know... I mean, it could be contemplated, but definitely like a board. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in somebody's favor. Good luck, good karma, decisions that's going to change the fate of your destiny. So the Empress is Taurus, the Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius. And then we have Virgo. Now, you also have a Nine of Wands. Somebody is um, being very resilient here. I got to give it to them. And they're persistent. They're just waiting. They're, gonna, they're just going to wait it out. They're not going to... This is like really true grit, the Nine of Wands and persistence. Resilience. Somebody's taking their last stance on something maybe here. Somebody's been waiting for good luck and good karma to turn in their favor. Oh, nice. So there's a breakthrough in a situation. And now we have the Queen of Cups. Somebody loving, kind, nurturing energy. Could be a mother or a mother figure. This is somebody who's very supportive. It's love. Right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's going to be a tower. Somebody's, listen, it's going to be a, some kind of a judgment call, some kind of decisive action. It could have something to do with a Queen of Cups or archetype, male or female, particularly Scorpio. And this tower is going to be a shock and a surprise to somebody here. It's, it's, hmm. Okay. So, with, listen, there's an emperor. I mean, an empress here. Maybe somebody's really, like, bored, apathetic. They're constantly waiting for this Wheel of Fortune starting to turn in their favor. They've been resilient. I mean, they've been holding it down. They've been waiting. There's a breakthrough, love, and this is a tower. I think the tower is going to be that, that, that love is going to be the tower. Something ending so something new can begin. Some of you could be UFO people, like you like UFOs. Here we go. We have, oh, somebody's going to walk away from this. Whatever this is, they just look, they got, they're going to walk away. They don't even want to see it. Whatever this tower is, she don't even want to see it. Wow, whatever this is, listen, this is something that's like some kind of karmic or, you know, the angels, uh, this is like some kind of karma, maybe on a queen of cups, this tower is going to come down, I mean, I don't know what to say, it could be a mother or mother figure, but somebody doesn't want to see this, this is it, this person is walking, they don't even want to look, they're not even turning their head, wow, oh, oh, let me see, I know what vibes I'm getting, but I don't even want to say it, unless I see it. All right, let's go. So like I said, this is mother and mother figure. Somebody, you might, yeah, they might not be getting along with their parent right now. Or the mother of their children or something like that. Show me what these cards are doing over here now. Come on, spit them out. Here we go. So now, there is, what is this? Okay, there is some kind of inspiration to go in a direction, take steps towards some kind of success. There is happiness, solace, and healing. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to put some effort in here, okay? Somebody is not committed and dedicated to something. It could be working. It could really well be working. Like With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, we're talking about some kind of low skill or a lack of motivation. Maybe laziness. Somebody could be laziness, lazy or misdirected. Show me. Yeah. Yeah, but something is too much burdens here. That's why somebody's not motivated. They don't want to over-obligate. Something is too much obligation. So somebody doesn't want to over-obligate themselves. So but they're taking the time out here. They're hanging out. Uh, the hangman, they could be feeling trapped and confined in a situation that's very, um, like a lot of burdens. They don't want to over-obligate themselves. They don't want to put the effort in here to healing. They want to go in a direction of success. Maybe somebody doesn't want to put the effort into this healing. They want to be successful. That's why. Maybe... All right, you got the Hierophant. So this uh, definitely could be uh, any kind of legal contracts, any kind of, um, you know, it could be a marriage, a business deal. It could be any kind of learning or um, Taurus energy, teaching somebody something, maybe something religious. It's about, it's about traditionalism and going, yeah, somebody's, listen, the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is maybe like somebody who has repressed emotions, they're empty, they're cold, they're feeling unloved, they could be gloomy. They don't want to put no effort in. You know, this could be somebody that you're married to. Yeah, something's going to move fast here. Somebody's got a goal and a focus. Now, this chariot and this uh, taking the first steps in the direction towards healing over here. But somebody doesn't feel like putting in the effort. Like one person does and one person doesn't. But somebody's got a goal and a focus here. And they're ready to overcome any obstacles to get to it. Show me the uh, conclusion, please. What's the conclusion for... <clears throat> Manic Monday. Now listen, guys. Yeah. Here we go. 
page of swords. Somebody's watching somebody here. Okay. Somebody's got their eye on somebody. Somebody's trying to get some kind of information. They want, oh, somebody wants to see the, the direction somebody's going in. Somebody wants to see the direction somebody's going in here. Because somebody wants to put in the effort and somebody doesn't. Show me. One more card for that. Oh, we got the Emperor. The Emperor and the Empress. Well, I mean, this is somebody who's in charge. They want to be the leader. They want to take control of a situation here. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's all there is to it. This is somebody that's, uh, you know, the Emperor is the best attributes of all four kings rolled up and then some. This is a leader. This is somebody who's stable, dependable, logical, practical, protective, financially well off. They don't miss a trick, you know. Here, at the bottom of the deck, there is a reciprocated offer of emotions here. Now you got the king of cups. All right, so now you got a very loving couple that's absolutely large and in charge. You got the empress and the emperor. You got the king and queen of cups. So there's, this is an emotional match. You're going to love each other. All right? And this is going to bring some kind of fairness and balance. So this is a very interesting story. So now I gave you, I get, you got Aries and Taurus. You got Cancer. You got Taurus again. You got Pisces. Mm-hmm. You got Scorpio. I'm going to give you um, the hidden truth. Uh, guys, by the way, if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is in the box below. It's on you to get in touch with me. Show me. What are the uh, hidden truths? Also, I'll give you a binaural beat here. Hold on. A frequency. Let's get... Uh, let's do the heart chakra. 666 megahertz. That's for your heart chakra. Okay. Here we go. Can I have some hidden truths, please, for Manic Monday? What are the hidden truths here for Manic Monday? Thank you. Okay, well, somebody messed up everything, and they know it. You came closer than anyone. I love you unconditionally. Now, this could be something that you want to tell somebody, or somebody wants to tell you, but nobody's got the pinones to fess up with what they're feeling, right? I hope that you can forgive me one day. Spirit says to put that there. I hid who I really am from you. So somebody was wearing a false mask here. And I wonder if you are happy without me. Last but not least, you have I love you. I love you. I lo somebody really loves somebody here. They want to put the work in, but somebody else doesn't. That's what this is coming down to. And obviously, you know, it could be a marriage with this hierophant here. So I'm sorry, you know, for ever, anybody that's going through this. All right. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, I lost myself for a little while. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. Uh, always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.